Hi folks, in the last episode we checked out The Ark, an emergency preparedness kit made by Survivor Industries. This is a current emergency preparedness kit that you can still buy on Amazon and at other places, at least as of 2020. Well today we're going to be checking out a vintage emergency preparedness kit that was also made by Survivor Industries, although it was branded quite differently from this one. So we'll be checking out this, the Eddie Bauer Emergency Survival Kit from 1996, coming up right now on Kitbashed Survival. So in case you don't know, Eddie Bauer is a chain of clothing stores here in the U.S. They're based out of the Seattle area. And for the most part, they do sort of outdoor adventure type clothing. And they also sell some gear like lanterns and backpacks and power banks and stuff like that. Kind of like L.L. Bean. Now, they're not quite as big today as they used to be. In the 90s, they were a pretty big name. And in fact, at the time, Ford had an Eddie Bauer edition of the Explorer that was very popular. So Eddie Bauer is not quite as famous as they were back then, but they're still around. And in fact, there's an Eddie Bauer outlet down the street from me that I go to quite often because they still make really good clothes. So this kit dates from 1996. Now, of course, it was not made by Eddie Bauer. It was made for them by Survivor Industries. And it says so right in the box, made in USA for Eddie Bauer. Now, I went to high school and college in the 90s. So for me, the 90s are kind of like the good old days. And I can tell you that this box definitely looks like it came from the 90s. Just the color scheme and the style is very 90s-esque. And if that's not proof enough, the price tag says it all at $18. If this was being sold today, it would probably be $30 or $35 or more. So it's the Eddie Bauer Emergency Survival Kit, food, water, and blanket, a three-day supply kit of survival basics for your home, office, or car, contains six nutritional food bars, six drinking water sachets, and one thermal blanket. And then on the back, they've got some illustrations for what's inside. And again, this is very Eddie Bauer 1990s-esque. It really brings back some memories for me. So, fresh water, six metallated packets, doubles for use as a cold compress, easy to store, and US Coast Guard approved. Thermal blanket, waterproof, used to offset hypothermic reactions, retains 90% of body heat and reflective surface to deflect the sun. And then we've got the high energy food bars, no cholesterol or tropical oils, rich in essential vitamins and minerals, packaged to withstand temperatures from negative 40 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now after 24 years, I'm pretty curious to see how these food bars are gonna fare and the water as well. Now what's cool is that just like the modern Survivor Industries ARC kits, all these things are made by Mainstay, and they've even got the ARC logo on them, just like the modern kits. Pretty cool. Now, before we crack this open, I do want to say one more thing. When I reviewed the ARC kit last week, one of the criticisms that some people had was that it didn't contain a lot of extra stuff like a compass and a knife and hunting and fishing gear and stuff like that, and neither does this kit. But that's okay, because on the box it says, it's for home, office, or car. Nowhere on this box does it say this is for trekking through the wilderness. You know, some kits are designed to help you go on a journey and get you from point A to point B. This is not one of those kits and neither is the ARC kit. So it's really not fair to compare these kits against other kits that are designed to take you on a journey. These kits are very much geared around staying put, staying in one place until either help arrives or whatever emergency has transpired has passed. These are not meant to take you on any sort of journey. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up the Eddie Bauer Emergency Survival Kit and travel back in time to 1996. And there we go. So let's see what we've got. Survivor Industries, Inc. Congratulations on purchasing your emergency support unit. Looks like this is for getting on their mailing list. No web address. Sounds like 1996 to me. I wonder what would happen if we sent this in now. 
All right, and we've got some mainstay emergency drinking water. 4.225 ounces, just like the modern versions. Now here is a modern mainstay water, and you can see it's a little bit different. For one thing, this is made in Oxnard, California, and this says Newbury Park, California. So maybe they moved their factory or their headquarters or whatever. Yeah, they definitely changed the packaging between then and now. Pretty cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, there should be six, five, yep, six. All right, then we've got the mainstay emergency blanket, and here is the modern version. It doesn't look like they changed that very much at all, except this does have the web address on there. And then we've got the mainstay emergency rations. I don't know if it came in this bubble wrap or if the person who sold this to me put it in the bubble wrap. I bought this on eBay. Let's go ahead and take off this bubble wrap. All right, and this is the mainstay 2400 calorie pack as opposed to the 3600 calorie pack that we saw last week. It's kind of got some sticky goo on there from something. I don't know if the packaging has been compromised. I don't think so. It seems to have a good vacuum seal on it, so I don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> kind of smells like wax or something like that. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see if I can wash it off before we open it up. All right, so I was able to get all the goop cleaned up enough to where I can handle it without getting it all over my hands anymore. The manufacture date on the food is August of 96 and the expiration, I believe it says August of 2001. So this has been technically expired for 19 years, but we'll see how it is when we open it up. And then the water was also manufactured in August of 96, but it has no expiration date, which makes sense. The space blanket seems to be in good shape. I'm not gonna open it up and unfold it, but it seems to be just fine from what I can see. So this is a perfectly good space blanket. I'm just gonna save this and add it to my survival supplies. All right, so just like last time, I'm gonna sample the water and one of the emergency food ration bars. I have to say, I'm a bit nervous about eating a 24-year-old ration bar. So we'll start off with the water. And this time, I'm just gonna cut it open rather than using the tear tab. Well, it's clear. I don't see any debris or anything. Looks like good, clean water. Smells clean. Has a little bit of a tap water smell to it, like a sort of a metallic smell to it. It tastes fine. It does have a little bit of a metallic tinge to it probably from sitting in that pack for so long, but otherwise it's fine. It's water. Yeah, it tastes fine. It smells like water coming from a garden hose. If you ever drank water from a hose when you were a kid, it smells very much like that, but it's fine. All right, now, <laughs> open up the 24 year old ration bars. Ugh. Oh God, it smells horrible. It smells like a, it smells like a candle. Very waxy smell. Ugh. Well, it's got a piece of wax paper on top. I wonder if there's one on the other side as well now.
there's a close-up of it. Oh, God. It smells like a candle. That's exactly what it smells like. I'm not looking forward to this. All right. Here we go. Very dry. Well, the good news is that it doesn't taste as bad as it smells. In fact, it really doesn't have much of a taste to it at all. Yeah, it doesn't have much taste at all. It's very dry. Ugh. Ugh. As soon as it got wet in my mouth, it's turned into like wax. Now, not only does it smell like a candle, now it feels like I just ate a candle in my mouth. Oh, oh my God. Oh, something, I need something more than water. Oh my God. Ugh. It's all over my teeth. It's like this waxy goo has gotten into all the crevices of my teeth. Ah, oh, that is gross. Okay, so there's a reason why it expired in 2001. These things are not meant to last this long. Uh, this is <laughs> this is completely inedible. I mean, I guess if you had to, you might be able to eat it, but uh, it's gonna come at a cost because, oh, oh my God. Oh. Take one more bite. It starts off fine. It's a little dry. You can taste some sugar. Very mild. But then as soon as you're done chewing it up and you've swallowed it, what's remaining in my mouth has turned to this waxy paste residue. Oh, oh that's just gross. That's just gross. See if I can wash it down with some of this water. Yeah, the water's okay, but oh my God. Oh, okay. So I guess the lesson here is if you find one of these mainstay rations that is way past the expiration date, do not eat it, just throw it away. Yeah, so this is one of the more disgusting things I've had in a long time. I wonder if we can simulate the waxy pasty effect by adding a little water to a piece. Let's find out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can't see it on the video, but it's basically just a waxy paste now that I've added water. It's greasy. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, so unless you were starving to death and had no other choice, these are pretty much inedible after this amount of time. Absolutely disgusting. Now, of course, that doesn't mean they were disgusting when they were made. I had the mainstay rations last week in the art kit and they were just fine. I'm sure the reason this is so disgusting is because it's been around for 24 years and is, what, 19 years past its expiration date. So yeah, all I'll say in conclusion is that I hope the waxy paste in my mouth was the worst of it, and that in a few hours I'm not sitting on the toilet in absolute misery. I don't think I ate enough for that, but I guess I'll find out soon enough. So there you have it, the Eddie Bauer Survival Kit made by Survivor Industries from 1996. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbash Survival. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.